In the world of music, Taylor Swift is a name that needs no introduction. With her distinctive sound and emotionally charged lyrics, she has captured the hearts of millions of fans worldwide. Her journey as an artist, marked by reinvention and artistic growth, has now led her to a significant milestone. Taylor Swift has achieved her third UK No, one hit with Is It Over Now, Taylor's version. Taylor Swift's latest triumph on the UK charts underscores her enduring appeal and the power of her re-recorded albums, known as Taylor's versions. The song, Is It Over Now?, is part of her ongoing project to re-record her early albums after the rights to her original recordings were acquired by a music industry executive. This move allows her to regain control over her music and its commercial use. Swift's Taylor's versions have gained immense attention and support from her dedicated fan base, also known as Swifties. These fans have rallied around her, not only to enjoy her re-recorded classics, but also to make a strong statement about an artist's ownership of their own work. The re-recordings represent her artistic autonomy and her ability to dictate the destiny of her songs. The song Is It Over Now? Taylor's version is not merely a rehash of an old hit. It's a testament to Taylor's growth as an artist and the emotional depth she brings to her work. The re-recorded version captures the same haunting melodies and evocative lyrics that made her a global sensation, but with the added wisdom and maturity that comes with years of experience. This accomplishment in the UK charts is particularly significant. Achieving a no, one hit in the UK is a measure of an artist's international influence and the universality of their music. It showcases that Taylor Swift's appeal extends far beyond her American fan base. The UK charts have a diverse and discerning audience, making her success there all the more impressive. The controversy surrounding Taylor Swift's re-recording centers on the larger issue of artists' rights and ownership in the music industry. The initial sale of her original master recordings sparked a conversation about how artists often lose control over their own work when they sign record deals. Swift's battle to regain control serves as an example for other artists who seek to assert their rights and ownership. While Swift's journey is undoubtedly one of success, it is also indicative of a music industry in the midst of a transformation. The rise of streaming platforms and the importance of master recordings have shifted the power dynamic in the industry. Artists are increasingly looking for ways to take back control and benefit more directly from their work. In conclusion, Taylor Swift's Verd UK No, one hit with Is It Over Now? Taylor's version marks a significant moment in her career. It not only demonstrates her enduring popularity and growth as an artist, but also highlights the broader conversation about artists' rights and ownership in the music industry. As she continues to re-record her catalog, her journey serves as an inspiration for artists looking to assert control over their work and legacy.